Charlie, we're at a time where Republicans now control the, the White House and both houses of Congress. I think there's a lot of hope um, from at least people that we know that we're actually going to make some changes and get some things done. How do you think, as you, as you look at January of next year, um, businesses and organizations should adjust their strategy to make sure that they are advocating the positions that are important to their company em employees? Well, it's certainly expected that the Trump administration will be pro-business. After all, his goal is to create jobs. But there are a lot of complexities both in the legislation on tax reform and Obamacare and on the deregulation that he wants to do and will do, deregulation of business. They can't just assume that everything's going to go well mm -hmm. or, or business's way. They're going to have to engage, lobby, get into the details and make sure things come out the right way. Uh, for every pro-business person inside an administration, somewhere buried in the bureaucracy is an anti-business right. person. So uh, certainly I'm telling my clients, and I know you're telling yours, we've got to work this very hard to make sure these reforms come out right. And, and I'll add on to that, that you know, from our perspective um, at DI, where a lot of what we do is creating the local influencers and the local stakeholders who have conversations with, with members, you know, I think if you look at what happened um, with the election, it's very clear that not enough people listen to people outside of Washington, D.C. And I right. think that was a very clear message that was sent. And I think members of Congress are going to be hyper-focused on what's happening back home, what's happening in their district, and what people are saying and what they're worried about. That's right. Organizing and presenting the local grassroots support for our clients' positions is what you do, and it's going to be more needed than ever. <laughs>